the computer. You don't have to be a genius to use one, but could a blind, deaf person use one? No way, you say. In steps a young man from Troy. His name is Daniel Zuckerman, a 21-year-old Livingston, New Jersey native, both an undergraduate and a graduate computer student at RPI in Troy. One day he met a man named Ray Bodouche, a Buffalo native, who has been deaf and blind since an attack of meningitis when he was one. And he was operating a computer through using Morse code. What he did is he, we told him what the electrical characteristics of the signal which would enable him to use the computer were, and he would put the doorbell buzzer on a long cord, and he first tried it underneath his neck and underneath his thigh, and that was good because he had his hands free to type on the computer and could feel the Morse code as he typed each key. Bodouche kept inventing and turned to the shoehorn. He came up with this device called a bone conductor, which is intended as a high-powered hearing aid. And the latest thing he's done with it is tape it onto a metal shoehorn, somewhat like I've done, and he puts the shoehorn on a tongue of his shoe, so his whole shoe vibrates. So this leaves his hand free and his arms free to type and work with the computer, at the same time filling the Morse code on his foot. Zuckerman came up with special software which transforms messages normally displayed on a computer monitor into Morse code vibrations at which the 48-year-old Bodouche is highly skilled. Ray can do Morse code at about 40 words a minute. The minimum FCC requirement for an amateur radio license is five words a minute. Um, the expert requirement for an amateur radio license is 20 words a minute. I've been working with Morse code for about 10 years, and the best I was able to do ever was 20 words a minute. Any software, any programs, anything that a sighted person could do on the computer, Ray can do the same. As a matter of fact, Ray does things on the computer and uses programs on the computer that myself, nor my co-inventor, nor anybody who's worked with Ray have done before. Helen Keller said, literature is my utopia. For Ray Bodouche, it's the sweet vibration of Morse code. Bill Duffy, News Center 6.